Thank you, Lane. A caregiver and her husband who was severely injured during service are one couple very grateful to the memory of Bob Dole. 13's Joseph Robin has their story tonight and their involvement with the Elizabeth Dole Foundation. Patty and Kevin Walker were just three years into their marriage when tragedy struck. My husband was critically injured in 2004. He sustained a penetrating head wound in Iraq. Um, and that's when my caregiver journey began. He was in ICU for 22 days on life support and I had to learn to navigate the army and how to care for him once he started getting better. Patty became a Dole Fellow in 2019 after researching programs she wanted to be a part of. The Elizabeth Dole Foundation sounded like a really good fit for me. They um, legislate change for caregivers and veterans alike and I felt like I wanted to be a voice for other caregivers because when my husband was injured there were no, there was very little assistance for us and I was on a very lonely path and so I wanted to help others so that they wouldn't feel so alone. That support is vital for a caregiver taking on so much alone. Caregivers go through so much and it's so much that the majority of the people don't know about because they don't see it unless they go through it. And it's just the day to day to day basics that you would normally do. They help them do. So it's a lot harder, harder job to do on a day to day basis. Patty says the Dole Foundation gives an impactful voice to caregivers like her. Politicians are able to create great change for caregivers and veterans alike. And I feel like it's really, really important for us to be able to advocate and talk and help um, people understand what life of a caregiver is like. It's incredibly difficult. In Manhattan, Joseph Robin, 13 News. The Dole Institute's 20th anniversary celebration kicks off in Lawrence tonight. They will be there. They'll